biggest millions I've ever seen. Grace Valana, the leader. Grace Valana. Grace Valana. Welcome to another edition of You Call. It's uh, your call, not you call. Your call. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have to put my phone off. I can hear a barking at me. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be talking to Tom Callan, the CEO of Blood Sox South Africa, first. And then we've got uh, Peter Gibson. We're going to talk to him about the latest developments that have taken place. All right, phone's out of the way. Everything's out of the way. Tom, thanks very much for coming in. Good to see you at the races on Saturday. What, what was your take? Beth, thanks for having me once again. Saturday was a, an amazing day. I really, you know, for those, you know, naysayers who say the sun is setting on racing, mm. well, the rising sun proved it all wrong. On, on the Saturday. new dawn. It was <laughs> absolutely phenomenal. I mean, there were 20,000 people on course. The betting halls were frenetic. The winners' yeah. enclosure were thronged with hundreds of people. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen that in South Africa before. Uh, well, not for a long time. And it was a very special day. Great racing, fantastic horses, mm. good people. But most importantly, is that the crowds were there, families, old, yeah. young. The car just parks amazing. were full, and, and the, you know, Rising Sun, happy can't be in a gold circle, and what a wonderful marriage with them. And it, it's, it's becoming a really big meeting because you're getting the great racing, the variety clubs, and, and good young horses. It's a great day, Tom. No, for sure. I mean, from, from, from my perspective, it's great because it starts bedding people, the love of racing, and people at a young age. Yeah. And hopefully, we'll get owners coming out of, you know, the, mm. just being, uh, being there watching the game. And what I loved was just. The, it was really packed, uh, mm. and people take an avid interest in the, the horses and the breeding, not just gambling on ants running up and on a wall. So, yeah. great day, really yeah, great. Day. Really, really good. Now, obviously, you've got to, uh, you've got to promote your sale. Now, firstly, let's talk about the, the, the national sale. Congratulations to you and your team, Tom. The figures were up, even in Australia when I was there, they were talking about the sudden big boost. And, and the, what do you put it down to? The, the, the figure's been so good. Beth, it was a it was an unbelievable result, especially in these uh, this you know, economic climate. We did have a better catalogue that mm -hmm. was uh, without fail a big part of the success. You know, you speak to some of the leading trainers and buyers who've been supporting us for years. Some of them said it's the best they've seen in twenty odd years. That might be a bit of an exaggeration to make me smile, but all in all, we did have better bloodstock. Uh, you know, we tried our hardest to get the right buyers there. We were well supported by all the icons of the industry. The big buyers were all yeah, there. Yeah, they were all there. And all buying. that was very special to have that. And we tried our hardest. We made some mistakes. We had a couple of blackouts <laughs> and some dramas. But, you know, we, we, I am human. We are human. But we are getting better. And mm. we were very, very happy with the sale. And as a result, you know, it's our biggest sale of the year. And our business is looking very healthy this year. We, we're going to finish up. We're going to finish Good up pretty well. So we have. Yeah, to and I'm pleased. And uh, the Cape Boys had a wonderful sale down there. So in South Africa, it looks like the pendulum has, has swung. I have to say, I'd, I agree. I think that you know we talk about the uptick and the upswing. I, I just think there are you know it's there are less people buying more horses if that makes sense. And yeah. we we need to get new buyers in. Left. That's new my blood. big job. That's my big focus for the next year. I've got some really big ideas. And, you know, Gold Circle and Pumalela and everyone is really, and the Racing Association, everyone's pulling together. So I, I yeah. think it's, we're on the up. There's no I, doubt. I definitely think we're all pulling together, which is wonderful to see. And it's very, very necessary. And I saw you hawking catalogues around in Dubai, getting people interested. And it's all paid off. And well done. Now we move on to, uh, obviously, the, the, the Suncoast case and Yearling sales. And, and just let's talk about the races that are coming up, uh, the breeders' races that they've planned for this year, which... Mm come from horses who were bought at last year's sale. Let's talk about that first. Okay. That looks good. Uh, absolutely. It's called the KZN Yearling Sale Million. You'll see a new logo that we have developed. And if you look at this, it's uh, the logo at the left-hand side of the page. So if you see that anyway, that is, depicts the race, the KZN Yearling Sale Million. Um, it, it's for graduates of last year's sales of any horse bought on, bought on the ring. And obviously, the box must be ticked to qualify There's for the race. There's two boxes there, Tom. Absolutely, I was going to get there, Lef. The, uh, <laughs> you beat me to it. There's two boxes we have to tick. One is to enter the race, the graduates of the race. The other one is for the National Bloodstock South Africa Added Value Stakes Program. We really encourage buyers to tick both blocks. It's for horses that wins uh, black type races as two or three year olds. Good. And already from last year, we've had four or five stakes winners. So, yeah. you yeah, know, it's the, been very good. It's been a fantastic result. The quality of the horses this year look, look good. And we are, you know, it's a good incentive to help grow the stakes pot that everyone complains about, you know, on, on the odd occasion. The KZN breeders have really gotten behind, of course, the Clerk and his team. 
and they've pushed this really hard. The races, they're trying 200 grand races, six of them. And it, it's, it's going to be wonderful, wonderful racing, and, and it, it's got to help you guys. Absolutely. Well, just to finish off on the KZ and the early sale million, that's obviously a race on July Day for graduates of the sale. It doesn't matter where it is bred, as long as it's sold through the ring. That's to have but a horse running. Run there, buy me again. So if you put a horse through the ring, regardless if it comes from the Bar Valley, bred yeah. in the Bar Valley, it's eligible. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So it's for graduates of the sale. That's on July Day. Um, anyone is eligible as long as you tick the box. So just a friendly reminder to do that. The KZN Breeders Race Day, the week before, on the 29th of June, it's my birthday left, so I'll be Wonderful. looking out for a present from yourself. None of you will get, it'll be yeah. in liquid form. <laughs> the, um, that day is for KZN Breeds only. Okay. So they are really trying to promote the industry and the sport in KZN. You know, it's, a, it's tough out there for breeders across the country, and this is just a way to help incentivize people to buy local and race local. But I have to say, KZN Breeds are performing well across the country, and we... Yeah. There's been some fantastic results lately, so I think things are definitely on the up. But it is lovely to have these incentives in place. It helps, you know, yeah, trainers, owners, the smaller guys who really, you know, also need a shot at some of the big money. The second box, I'm just looking at it, I've got the sheet in front of me. It's, it's called the Qualify for Next Year's BSA New Added Value Stakes Incentive Program. Those programs, those races, are they all in KZN? Or no, this no. is national. national. We launched this at the National Yearling Sale. You actually ticked the box left. I did yeah, see I the horses the you box. bought. Yeah, absolutely. It's for 76 races for two and three year olds nationally. So all graded and all black type races. So we used to have a program of 14 races. We've now increased this to 76. We want to make it all inclusive. 76? Yeah, for two and three year olds. So it is more inclusive, the better chance of winning. It's, a, it's obviously a national program. I have to tell you, that if a horse is sold at National Yearling Sale, we had a 93% buy-in. So a phenomenal support from the buyer base. And once again, shows that these programs, yes, buyers have to buy in. It's, that's unfortunate. They help fund it. Yeah. The breeders are also helping fund it. But most, most importantly, it gives the stakes pot. It swells the stakes pot. So it makes it more big incentives for winning. And, and that's what we have to encourage is winning on the racetrack. That is how we're going to improve our, our breeding yeah. and racing Tom, just digressing yes. slightly, you, you had an innovation, if I can call it that, where guys could go onto your web page and buy horses that weren't sold? Yes. How, how was that received? Left brilliantly, I have to say. Listen, some of the folk are not so IT with it. They're just getting around to it, so we actually had some inquiries this week from nationals. Yeah. But it's, it's a section on our website for pass-through yearlings, where every horse that is not sold through the ring or a vendor buyback, they automatically get loaded up to our website, and you can go and look at those horses on the website. So yes, great. To, I know you've been on there. Yeah, uh, I always have a look. It's we're just trying to innovate and you know offer a better service to our to our buyer base, and we we're quite happy with the progress. We've sold a couple of horses off at post nationals, and you know anything I could do to help our breeders sell horses, that that's my job. Yeah, that's what your job, and you're doing a wonderful job, at it, Tom. Now let's get back to your team comes into town. Now when are the catalogs out for the sale? Left, they'll be out this week. We're feverishly printing and delivering to all the racing centers this, this week. During the course of the week, you'll see them at all the usual pickup spots. If anyone I know a few pickup spots. <laughs> if anyone would like the catalog, you must please contact us at tba.coza. We will get one sent to your home if it's not sent to you already. But we, are, we do have postal strike issues. That's a reality of living in South Africa. But we are trying desperately to get them all out this week. So they will be uh, you know, alive and kicking this week. Like. How, how many horses catalogued? 290 horses. Fantastic. Eh? You know, we're filling up the car parks yeah. at, uh, at Suncoast. Great venue for a sale, I know. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's really is special. We did a photo shoot last week. Well done to Candice and, and the Jockey Club and everyone who helped us. We had horses and models and all sorts. And we got a front page uh, mention on the Mercury, a photo on the Mercury last week. So, you know, all little things like this really help us and promote the sport of, of racing and obviously yeah. the, the, sale, it's the selling part. I see a lot of uh, sales organizations are going to the situation now where they say, pay us something and we'll put, put bigger f uh, f uh, f races out there that you can, you can win your money back. Is this going to be the norm through all your sales now? Not the norm, not, not on our major uh, sale, which is our national yearling sale. We believe that the added value stakes program rewards black type racing, which is, you know, you've got to reward excellence, not yeah, just yeah. winning a, a goat race. In, 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 uh, my horse, goat. Oh, sorry, geez, goat I heard all about goat this weekend. Yeah, yeah, sorry, goat, goat, sorry, goat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Olaf, we, we really do believe we need to up our game. There is always going to be uh, stakes races against certain sales to help promote the sale. 
but we can't fall into the trap of making that the norm. We have to reward excellence, and that's sure. why we would like people to support our program, and that is, a, you know, as a leading sales company, we want to be promoting the black type racing, not only for breeding, obviously it's great f if you've got black type, you know, it's a lot easier to breed with a black type mare, but more importantly for owners, it's, you know, we are, whatever people say, stakes are important. Yeah. But to win, have a run in the July, what were we talking about over yeah, the weekend? Fantastic. It's the best feeling in the world, and, and yeah. that's what we have to remote, is ho selling horses that can get there. Yeah. Now, you, you're, you're based in, in, in Gauteng, and you come down here to work with the, the KZN breeders. Do you bring a team down? Do you start setting up everything? When do you start rolling on the cell? Now, we're already flat out working with the municipality. It's an unbelievable exercise to have livestock in uh, the confines of the city. And, you know, with health and safety measures and stuff, we've been working on it for months already. So we, well, the team comes in a week before we set up our, our stables. We bring the team down from Johannesburg, so Caroline and all the rest of our team. It, we've, we've, we're getting it pretty slick, you know. It's much easier than, uh, you know, using your own team that know what they're doing. Yeah. And we work very closely with the KZN Breeders Club and obviously with Suncoast Casino, who as a sponsor have been absolutely fantastic. They really buy the fact that this, uh, this event adds value to their business. So I think you're going to see even a better show this time than last year. Tom, is there anything else you want to touch on before I get Peter in the hot seat? Left, not really. I just wanted to come down and remind people that the sale's on. If you haven't seen any advertising, I hope you have. We're trying our best to get it out there. Catalog is the most important piece of uh, advertising, obviously, and that will come this week. But yeah, I just wanted to. I was down to racing yesterday, and once again, well done to, to Gold Circle and everyone involved. It was a superb day out. Tom, thanks very much. There's Tom Callahan, the CEO of Bloodstock South Africa. We'll be back after the break with Peter Gibson.